cura, cura, cura. Welcome back. So today, there's Cora. I'm gonna try something different with the screen thing. Cora, if you're, maybe you're familiar with it, maybe you're not, is a question answer site, kind of like um, Yahoo Answers. And the interesting thing about Quora is it has a fair amount of professionals that answer questions and quite a few of the questions in general are well considered and the audience seems to be above average intelligent in general. And I like Quora because I answer some questions there and the cross section of different kinds of people, especially when it comes to myopia, in particular, there's, there's ophthalmologists, there's optometrists, there's various surgeons that deal with the eye that answer questions, there's along with a whole bunch of other kinds of people. So you get a bit of perspective of what kind of answers people are given in the real world and by who and how people respond to these kinds of answers. Very interesting. And one of the questions on there that I just realized today, this is in no way prompted or scripted, I didn't affect the outcome of this even if I could have. So somebody had asked a while back, can myopia be cured? And, <clears throat> sorry, the, the question had 13 answers. And what happens is you answer the question and then people vote, upvote it. And the question I guess the most upvote is the one that you end up seeing first. So you kind of get to see what kind of responses people value. Of course, of course, in this case, uh, my answer is the first one. I'm not gonna read all these out. Link below, I recommend a quick read if you wanna see what people tell you about myopia in general. Uh, my answer has 4.7 thousand views and 43 upvotes. It's the number one, of course it's the number one. Um, but what's interesting here, besides that obvious bit, is the other people responding to questions, to the same question. Um, generally just people, you get that, and that's obviously that's something that's worth looking at because what do people in general think? People think they know stuff about myopia. Uh, that's it. the second guy, he's got eight upvotes. Then the third person is a blogger, whatever that is. Uh, and, then, and then it gets interesting because after that there's a guy who is the co-founder and co-creator of the pure vision method, which is a category that frustrates me in general because those are the people that are selling all this stuff that you hear me talk about on the site quite a lot. And I'll just read you the first sentence just to make that point. He says, your eyesight is connected to your mental and emotional life. Your chemistry in your body, nourishment and toxicity, your overall physical body and your eyes. What does this sentence actually mean? What, what, what does this say? It says nothing. And that's the, that's the contingent that, that I'm not very fond of because they're peddling this feel-good stuff that sounds nice to a lot of people but does absolutely nothing. Um, and of course they try to sell you things and they always come, the, the selling tactics almost always come with this whole here's his clothing thing. Lots of love and light. This is my exact problem with this stuff. It's just, it's presented as this feel-good stuff. They're selling crap that doesn't generally work. Whatever. <clears throat> then, well, some other answer. And then the next one is from a, somebody representing an eye hospital. And interesting there, it's all about, okay, you can have re uh, refractive surgery. There's PRK, there's LASIK, uh, blah, 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 blah. Basically, selling you surgery, which is what hospitals do. The next one is an MD, again recommending LASIK. The next one is an optometrist who says he has 20 years in clinical practice. Um, that guy though, all right, read it, read it for yourself. Uh, the next one is an ophthalmologist. Again, LASIK, somebody who recommends LASIK, and on and on. I, I generally, what you find here, the, the, the first and most important thing is, if you look at my response, it's not by any stretch the longest, has 43 upvotes. 
the second biggest answer to this question, Okoro has eight, right? And most of the so-called professional mainstream ones, nobody cares. And I think this is incredibly representative of the reality that sets in when people have a choice and have the opportunity to look at answers, right? You give an ophthalmologist and opto optometrist and, and hospitals and just generally people a platform to answer the question, what is myopia from their perspective? And then you can look at what does the public that are reading this, thousands and thousands and thousands of people are reading this, what do they like? What do they agree with? What do they believe? Is it the feel good, yeah, visions of whatever guy, or is it the ophthalmologist with his, you know, clinical degrees and stuff, or is it truth? And overwhelmingly, over, overwhelmingly, people vote for the truth. And I think that's not what you find when you look for myopia on Google today, but as more people are exposed to these options of finding the truth, people aren't dumb, right? People go to the optometrists and they're in so many ways bullied into buying glasses, but people aren't dumb. If you, if you give them access to research tools, if you say, here's Google Scholar, here's the right search terms to find clinical studies, here's a foundation for you to find your own answers, people will understand what's true and what's not true. And I think that's why things like this core question are significant, are pointers towards the future because you can see where stuff is going. You know, if you look at our Facebook group, growing very quickly, terrible YouTube channel and still, I mean, even a thousand subscribers, that sounds tiny for something like YouTube where everybody has millions and millions of subscribers, but that's a thousand people who suffer through looking at my face for six, eight minutes at a time and subscribe and it's a tiny channel it's not advertised you can't you don't really find it anywhere but there's still people that are participating there's people that are participating in facebook and things like quora when people are confronted with truth they recognize it and that gives me a lot of hope i think this is this is going to put more pressure on the mainstream as time continues to face the reality that while a lot of people love the quick fix not everybody does. A lot of us want the truth. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.